Look, that's my other line. I'll call you back later. All right. Hey, can you pick me up later? I need to go to the mall. I need those shoes we saw yesterday. I can't. I'm picking up Yanine from ballet. Yamil, why can't Yestin pick her up? Your baseball practice. Why don't you go yourself? Because I'm still not allowed near the car. Oh, yeah, that's right. That stop sign was in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> what is he wearing? Who? The weirdo on 25. Professor Dayton? My dad says he's a genius. Ugh, he gives me the creeps. We are through. I'm, I'm are walking done? away. Come on. <laughs> Let's rip some Nikki Fritz. I cannot wait to move out of this neighborhood. I know, right? Hi, sir. How are you today? How am I? Ooh, hang on. Puke guy alert. What? Who's there? Give me all the details. Where's he at? Fat Joe's. <laughs> Must be a cousin. It's a package. What did you go back to your computer, you geek? I see what you mean. I cannot wait to move out of this neighborhood. Uh, you already said that. Oh, that's my mom calling. I gotta go. Well, come rescue me, please. Okay, okay. I'll call you at home, okay? Bye. I, I wouldn't know. I, I'm just... Yes, I, I'm listening. What matters is, I've been waiting weeks for a package that looks just like that. I really hate this neighborhood. Is my name on that? Uh, on that? On this particular package? Yes! Aren't you going to say hello, Alice? What's that, Dad? Oh, it's a universal remote. It's supposed to control everything. I picked it up from a street vendor. Looks like one of the professor's gadgets. Maybe I should show it to him. That creep across the street. Alice! Don't talk about him like that, Alice. He's a very intelligent man. Whatever. Young lady, you are going to wash your hands and come back down. Dinner is almost ready. She can't eat. She's on a diet. He's eavesdropping on me! Mom, tell him to stop! Because she's fat. Louis, say something. What diet? What fat? Hey, didn't we have a talk about listening in on other people's conversations? I wasn't! Mom! Honey, we'll talk after dinner. Now do as I say. She's too skinny. She'll never find a husband. She has no ass. <laughs> Grandma, is that how a dean talks? I'm off duty. What's so funny about not having an ass? An ass is more important than tits. Tits are for amateurs. Please tell me I'm adopted. If I understand this setting, this button controls the color and hue settings. Hello. Hey, girl, it's me. I'm an amateur. Tell me you've dumped the little brat, and we're going to the mall. <laughs> Dad, there's something wrong with the phone. Dad? Mom? Rams, Jesse? Oh, no, you're not funny. Are you still with us, Alice? Young lady, you're going to wash your hands and come back down. Dinner's almost ready. What's going on? She can't eat. She's on a diet because she's fat. Louis, say something. Fat? What? Who's fat? Didn't we have a talk about listening to other people's conversations? I wasn't. Mom? Honey? Mom! You be quiet. We'll talk after dinner. Now do as I say. 
She's too skinny. She'll never find a husband. She has no ass. <laughs> Mom, shame on you. I think this one's for the subtitles. <laughs> caso de una vez, Alicia. Acaba y sube a lavarte las manos y vas a comer que la cena está lista. Ay, mami, ella no quiere comer. Está a dieta. Luis. Está gorda. Luis, di algo. ¿Gorda? ¿Quién está gorda? ¿No te he dicho que no se debe escuchar conversaciones ajenas? ¿Cómo estás escuchando? Mami. The remote, sir, dad, senor, please don't touch that thing. Don't touch. Nena, tú estás bien. Ay, my carne. Nunca va a encontrar marido si no saque esas buenas nalgas. <laughs> Ay, mamá, qué cosa dice. Este debe ser el botón de ajustar la señal. number on speed dial. Please. Hello? Please, you have to help me. Hello? Hello? Send somebody! Delivery for Professor Dayton. Are you supposed to be here, miss? Oh my god. We have to help me. Hold on. We'll be about what? What?
Okay. Weird-looking remote. So far, it doesn't do much. Can't even change the channels. Then take it to the professor. It was a five-mile walk to the nearest TV set. Barefoot in the winter. And we all knew the piano player with the candelabra was a pansy, just like your Uncle Brett. What a faggot he was. <laughs> Grandma! Work, damn it! Go on, Daddy, just turn off the TV set. Gadget or riot? Please, I just want to be normal. Oh, but you already are, Alice. This is who you are. Jacobs, this sweet little thing is completely harmless. What is it? It's a rabbit, of course. <laughs> oh, it is, it is a rabbit. What's, uh, what, what, what's his name? Alice. Her name is Alice. <laughs> you bad girl. Yeah, chewing through your cage like that. Mm. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, look what I got. Your favorite toy. What a character. <laughs> Alice, what a pretty name. Is that a problem? Hey! Hey! I said it's a fucking problem. No, no problem. Yeah, you damn right there ain't no fucking problem. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Hey, listen. Hey. You looking for some companionship? Huh? Thanks. No, nah, no, man. I can set you up. I see you looking, man. I'm good. Yeah. Come on, man. Where are you? Hey! Hey, bitch! You got a permit to work my building? Hey! What the hell? Hey, Jerry. Eva! 
Get your ass down here. I'm coming. <laughs> Bye, Jerry. Eva! I'm coming. Fuck. Damn it. Anything you like, got a crystal ball. Look on voodoo. Anybody piss you off lately? I don't read much. What do you want for the radio? Radio with the antenna. Five dollars for the one with the antenna. Without the antenna, without the antenna, it's ten dollars. Why is the one with the antenna less? Less radio. All you need is duct tape and a piece of wire. Make an antenna. I'll go less radio and more antenna. Give me the money. Give me the money. Keep the change. Fuck you, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me the money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the smart what ass he was. Smart ass. Of course. Why wouldn't you do that? Thank you. Stop. 
that. Go, Jesus! I said, don't. You like the song. You're getting water on the floor. Oh. Sorry. Dry yourself off. In the bathroom, Jerry. Jerry, put some clothes on. Okay. <laughs> well, what? Isn't it better now that it's clean in here? I guess. You guess. You're not sure. It's better. Are you hungry? I guess so. Are you hungry or not? I am. Then make dinner. All right. It's too hot for soup. Make a sandwich. Jesus. I'm just looking out for you, Jerry. I promise. Don't be ridiculous. Don't use so much mayonnaise. It always gives you a tummy ache. Right. Right. You want to put some money in tech stocks. They'll never go away. But the important thing is to diversify. Right. Diversify. I'll need more money, though. You'll have it. Yeah, Eddie, 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 listen to me, baby. You're gonna love this. It's a new reality series. Home invasion. We break into their homes. They don't even know it's really us. We beat the crap out of the family. Right, we got the cameras 24-7. Sure. Sure. This is a handicap spot. Three cameras, shoot. They're gonna love it. Thank yeah, you. they're gonna love it. Douche. I hate this guy. Did you say something? No. I was just taking out the trash. Fuck 
cute. Eva! Eva! I'm coming! Ah! Say hi to your little friend, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Eva! Fuck! Nice job, Jerry. What are we gonna do about all that banging, Jerry? Run off! Tell her to knock it off. Run off! Knock it off! Let's go. And get a flashlight. Don't be seen. Got it. What do you see, Jerry? I'm looking. Don't look yet. Just see. See a clothesline, some garbage, box spring. Andy, drunk, passed out again. See a stairwell leading to a fire escape. Look at the stairs. A bunch of people threw a bunch of shit down here. Look again. I'm looking. This looks intentional. Keep climbing, Jerry. I'm climbing. Keep climbing. Okay. Keep climbing, Jerry. Up there? Yes, up there. Okay. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? Up there? It doesn't look safe. Are you afraid, Jerry? No. Well, then let's go. All right. Fine. It's all right. Relax. Now get the flashlight.
and watch out for more cats. a dead squirrel, Jerry. That thing is huge. Next time you see one, kill it. Fine. What will you do when you see another one? Kill the fucker. That's right. Now breathe, Jerry. <sighs> now get your flashlight and let's try again. I told you I'd take care of you. Now let's get out of here quick. You'll have to kill him. What? No! You have to. He saw the box. He saw the money. You have to. We don't know what he saw. Come on, Jerry. You know exactly what he saw, and so does he. Sooner or later, he's gonna come for it. I won't do it. Well, it's too late now. He's gone. But he'll be back, Jerry. Don't you worry. This is bad. There's over 300 grand here. The big move will be real estate, an income property, a duplex at least. But like I said, it's all about how we diversify. Right. Long-term goals. Exactly. We should leave town as soon as possible. Wait. Do you hear that? What? Listen. Someone is breaking in. Guess who? Don't shoot him. That'd be bad. What do I do? You'll know what to do, but do it fast! Jerry, get back inside and get the knife. No. Good. Bravo! You did what you had to do. This has gone too far. You did the right thing. This is crazy. Jerry, there's gonna be cops everywhere. You have to relax. You have to be cool. Focus. Focus. I know. You're right. No loose ends. You knew this going in. I know. Murder-suicide. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Tied her up with duct tape, stabbed her about 50 times, maybe more. Lots of blood. That's a new brand of sick. Nah, it's not so new. Word is they had a drug problem. They fought a lot, that sort of thing. I knew about the drugs. Yeah. Everybody heard the fighting. Yeah. <sighs> Got any more milk? I'm afraid this is the last of it. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> thanks for your time. Not a problem. Sticky. Okay. 
Oh, um, if you think of anything, here's my card. Sure thing, Officer Jacobs. Detective. Oh, right. Detective. He found tape residue on the chair. I saw that. I don't know if he put it together. This guy's hard to read. Stay cool, Jerry. I got one. Sir. Found some more milk? Caught me. Huh. I just have one more question. Uh, Leon Cates. You know him? Guy across the hall? Yeah, that's him. Pimp. Drug dealer, among other things. He seems pretty bent out of shape. Won't tell me exactly why. Don't think I've ever seen him happy. Mm, I know the type. This is, uh, this is different. Yeah, anything comes to mind. I'll give you a call. Right. Got one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Looks like someone tried to break in. I saw that last night. Not much use reporting it. Nothing personal. Oh, right. Well, you have a good day, Mr. Uh... Collins. Same to you, sir. Well, thank you. I feel good about this. Me too. Stay with the money. You go check that we got everything. Are you moving? Yeah. Things have just gotten a little nutty around here. Uh, yeah. I guess I wanted to for a while. Been saving. Where are you moving to? Not sure yet. Just figure I'll keep driving until I find some place. Some place I can afford some property. I can't stay here, Jerry. Leon will kill me. He thinks I took his money. His money? Armored car heist, almost two years ago. He's got a half a million stashed in a building up on Hill Street. I don't know where the rest of it is. It'll turn up someday. You got room for one more, Jerry? You can't come back. I don't want to. What is it with you? She'll kill you as soon as she finds out about the money. You'll have to kill her first. No. I think I trust her. She's a whore. You can't trust a whore, Jerry. I said no. Let's get out of here fast. Oh, don't look at me like that. I need to go pee now. Just pull over right okay. here. Okay. There's nobody here. It's not a big deal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's just gonna take two seconds. Okay, all right? I'll be right back. No problem. Wait here. I mean to tell you I'm 
Now I'm in the back seat. Next it'll be the trash. You have to listen to me. I think you're jealous. Your little friend isn't gonna understand our relationship, Jerry. Think about it. I'm only trying to help you. Let her take a piss, for fuck's sake. It's the middle of nowhere. Do it now! What I say, just be cool. Temperance will see you through most things. You know, it's all about the future now. Yeah, future. Exactly, the future. Long-term, sustained growth. And how are we gonna do that? Diversify? Damn straight, yeah. diversify. Stocks, bonds, and of course, real estate. We're talking a wide array of growth industry as well as the more steady, conservative investment. Don't even fuck with commodities. They're just gonna get you in trouble. Yeah, this is Rachel. Uh, uh, I'm looking for some companionship uh, for the night. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I'm at home. Hey, bitch. Sorry, I, uh, my building. I've never done this before. Hey, hey, trick! Don't you want? What you well, there, there, there was this one time. Where are you? Fucking hell. Whatever you want. What is this? In the movies, mm -hmm. we use big cameras. What the fuck is this? Big what the What the fuck is this? Are you paying? Uh, are you I, paying? I, I, Where's home, dipshit? You accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Excuse Lord and Savior? Excuse me for please. Oh. Get, the, get the fuck out of here. I ain't playing with you. Get out of here. But what the hell? He was gonna make me a star. I don't care who's gonna get in that damn street and make my fucking money. I ain't playing with you. Repent. Repent. The end is near. Is everything okay? What was that? Everything's cool. So how do I get to your place, lover? I live at, uh, um, uh, tw 26 Cabrillo Avenue. By the marina? Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah. Lucky guess. A few clients there. Okay, give me 15. Bye. I gotta get some.
shower first. Girl killer, huh? How original. Yeah. Eighty eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be eighty SL, but you see the girl that's sitting in there? Ooh. Boy is gonna be around later? Yeah. 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 Guess. Lucky guess. Nice house, is it yours? Uh, yeah, why? Where are your parents? Uh, my parents are out of town for the weekend. Is it that obvious? How come you're not in any of the pictures? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of the black sheep of the family. The clan's more proud of my brother. He's, uh, he's the family success story. Which makes you the screw up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how about we get to it since I'm on the clock? Okay. I'm just used to a little more discussion, you know? Well, I'm, uh, I'm a little short on cash, so... Uh... Okay, Junior. Whatever floats your boat. Let's head upstairs. How about we get that transaction out of the way? Oh. Business first. Right. Here you are, Miss Rachel. One thousand it is. So, this your first time? Yeah. How'd you know? Lucky guess. <laughs> so, um, what are we gonna do? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, I'd like you to, uh, to tie me to the bed and ride me, but, uh, we well, have to blindfold me first. Ooh, that sounds kinky. But for a thousand bucks, it's doable, right? Whatever you want, baby. Oh. <laughs> 
sleeping out at night. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, get it tight. Oh. How does that feel? <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. Are you getting naked yet? Oh, in a second. This is so great. Yeah. I'll make it well worth your while. Oh. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Baby, that tickles. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? How pathetic. Did you kill me, Rachel? Are you scared? Because you shot me. pushing the cart along and she thinks all's okay and all's well and all's dandy but then she goes and she looks in the cart and realizes it's not her baby in there but a zebra <laughs> <laughs> oh what do we got what do we got oh man what do we got yeah i do you got some oh what do we got what do we got a letter from your ex-wife three or seven Who 
is that guy? It's me. Your parole officer, eh? Yeah, I know. This shouldn't have peed in that swimming pool. All right, what else we got? Yeah. Professor Dayton? Professor Dayton? Ah. Ah, Dean Thompson. So, when will we see what you're doing in there? Well, as you know, that's my deal with the university. I teach and you allow me to work on my project. I know, Dayton, but it's been over 20 years. Well, actually, Find out sooner than you think. You mean? Yes, very soon, indeed. Now, what can I do for you, Dean? Oh, I almost forgot. I got this wedding invitation in the mail. Yeah, I do hope you can attend. <laughs> this is not one of your practical jokes? Oh, I assure you, it is not. But when did you have time to meet this woman? <laughs> I mean, when you're not teaching, you're here in the lab. Love has its ways. Of course. But, Professor, at your age, you're getting married. Already got the rings. I'll be there. Huh. Is it going to be a big wedding? Oh, just a few colleagues and some of my former special students. Oh. I guess congratulations are in order. Thank you. I don't know, that, I think that gray may be different. <laughs> yeah. 88, right? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be 80 SL, but you see the girl that's like, sitting in there? Ooh. Is that I don't care about the 88. Check this out. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. Whoa, whoa. You boys gonna be around later? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Come on, the professor's waiting. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me get it, dear. Oh, hi, boys. Come in, come in. The door's open. Come on. <laughs> hey, oh. Professor. It's so oh. good to see you. Oh. Please, professor, you look great. Oh, you guys look great, too. Oh, come in, come in, come in. I'm so glad neither one of you were too busy to come to town. Oh. And miss your wedding? Come oh, on, we wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh. This place looks exactly the same. Brings back memories. When you two were my smartest students, We'd sit around and argue theories of evolution. But you would always win the argument, even if sometimes you were just pulling our leg. Well, I had to spice things up a little. So, Professor, when are we going to meet the lucky lady? Oh, soon. Professor, how's your uh, secret experiment coming along? Oh, fine. Is it really for the government, Professor? Ah! <laughs> hey, you 
Do you remember the one about you being Dr. Frankenstein, Professor? Oh, yeah. Boy, if you only knew the rumors about that. I knew about them. They couldn't come between me and my work. Charles. John. I think it's finally done. Professor, that's great. Can you finally tell us? Oh, soon. But you didn't come here for that. You came for my wedding. Of course. So tell us about her, Professor. Mm. Is she um, a teacher at the university? <laughs> how did you meet her? Hold on, I'll tell you everything. Um, let's see, first of all, she's not from around here. Did you meet her on a sabbatical or? Oh. John, what? the professor doesn't do sabbaticals, am I right? That's right. After all these years, we thought you were a confirmed bachelor. So did I. I'm not interrupting your reunion. Uh, honey, you could never be an interruption. Mm -hmm. Charles, John, I'd like to meet Kathy, my fiance. Hello. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, you really have to try my pierogies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honey, mm -hmm. can you help me a moment? Oh, of course, sweetheart. Uh, boys, I'll be right back. You know where the bar is. Uh, help yourself. Okay, is this a joke? I don't think so. I need a drink. What are you drinking? A triple of whatever that is. She's not even old enough to be his granddaughter. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> the prof did it. What are you talking about? Do you remember all the experiments he's been working on? I don't know, I mean, he was working on so many. I remember the robotic stuff. And? Then he would joke that if he could create the perfect woman. If I could create the perfect woman? I'd make sure there was an on-off switch in there somewhere. <laughs> and a volume control. You got a better explanation? You think? He's a freaking quantum engineer, you know that. You and I have both seen some of the stuff he's done. Yeah, but this? Again, do you have a better explanation? No. But I'd say good for the prof. <laughs> you really have to try my chicken dumplings. Oh. <laughs> um. Dayton had to go to store to pick up something for me. Uh, Kathy, are you okay? They didn't have to go to the store to pick up something for me. So I guess... Hmm. Uh, Kathy, why don't you sit down? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can I, um, can I get you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Dayton doesn't like me to drink. Oh. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> there must be heat from the kitchen. I'm not used to the heat. <laughs> so, um, Kathy, how did you and the professor meet? Oh, it's kind of funny. Because I really don't remember. I mean, really how we meet. I only remember just being with him. Oh, please, please don't tell Dayton that I told you this. No. Because no. he tells everyone some romantic story about how we met, and he would be really sad. I don't remember. Timer, I'll be right back with more dirt. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? What's there to think? She doesn't drink. <laughs> because liquids would screw up her circuits. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe he hasn't figured out a way to shield them yet. Do you think she can eat? What do you think she eats? You really have to try my pate! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, Kathy, are you having any? Me? <laughs> no! <laughs> Girls has to watch their figure, and I won't be able to fit my wedding gown. <laughs> so, when did you graduate? 
Um, uh, about four years ago. The same. Dayton tells me you both engineers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm engineer too. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I'll be right back. Amazing. She's perfect. Mm -hmm. did, did she just say engineer or engineered? <laughs> <laughs> Professor, he's a genius. Do you remember when the professor used to play all those practical jokes on us? The exploding sandwich? <laughs> Try the egg sandwiches, they're delicious. <laughs> you keep both hands on the wheel. You young people nowadays don't know how to drive. Maybe you should try the bathroom before you go, John. Long drive ahead. It still hurts sometimes, you know. It wasn't a real snake, John. It was robotics. Yeah, well, tell that to my leg. Of course. So you think this is one of them? It's gotta be. Remember when we first got here and he said we were, quote, two of his smartest students? He's probably somewhere laughing at us right now. Don't you get it? That's why he left us alone with her. He wants us to figure out Kathy, his new and best invention. Oh, he almost got us. What are we gonna do? Let's pull a prank on him. Let's find the switch and turn her off. How do you like my pierogies? Delicious, <laughs> yeah. Good. I'll be right back. I'll make some more. <laughs> Maybe we could give you a hand. Term design is just absolute perfection. Oh, this blood is just so real. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't found the circuits yet, though. Did you find the circuits? I'm searching for it. I think I found it. Oh. Oh. Oh, Look at this. The oh. skin tone. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> hey, John. Charles, check out the brain. <laughs> Look, it even jiggles the right way. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The nerve endings. Pituitary gland in place, everything. It's all in here. I gotta tell you, man, this guy's a genius. This guy's a genius. The, the, the detail is just impeccable. I think I found the right Nevrin. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. What? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a scrapbook. I mean, what? look at this. Pictures and letters with, 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 with I mean, it's like the detail he's got to make this woman real. It's just unreal. <laughs> he's a genius. My dearest Emmett, dating for scientific community, new additions. Katya is an engineer in the University of Moscow. She specializes in aeronautics. She's seeking a <laughs> warm and cuddly older gentleman we finally with got a him sense back. of humor. Rocket science is preferred. I must talk to Dr. Falwell about global transient amnesia. <laughs> 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 what? Um, Mr. Melancholy, it's not a big deal. We're gonna we're gonna help him put her back together before the wedding, okay? What? John, I think. What? 
What is this? <laughs> Mail order bride. <laughs> John, she's... Oh my god, Charles, what are we gonna do? Oh my god! Honey, I'm back! Sorry guys, but uh, Kathy ordered this cake and Kathy doesn't drive, so I have to go pick it up. Charles? Oh, Kathy. John? Charles? Kathy? John? Charles? <laughs> she sure knows how to cook. <laughs> in the L.A. River, in a drought season! Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Come on, let's make up. Come on, no, 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 me love you long time. Miso Sally, miso... Ah! <laughs> what? Hey, man, man, yeah. can, can you help me out with some spare change? No, nah, man, I'm sorry. But listen, I'm gonna think good thoughts for you. Whew. Good thoughts, good thoughts. Hey, just wait, be patient. How about Jeez. something to eat? I mean, no, but good thoughts. Really, really good thoughts. Hold on! All right, all right. Let me have a boot, just like this. One just like this. Come on, hand it over. Jesus, go. change. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, see? Thinking good thoughts for you, huh? You're late again. What? All the sick people go home? I thought we spoke about this. My sentence dictates that I spend 30 days here. I'm here. So what do we got? This is not a sentence, doctor. It's an opportunity to prove yourself. To help the community. 
What, do you want me to call the judge and tell him your heart's not in it? Anyone ever tell you you're beautiful when you're a bitch? No. Really? Seriously, coffee. Black. Mrs. Lexington is ready to be seen. I'll bring her in. Lexington has been having some difficulty. With her vision. Hmm. Well, yes. How, how did you know? Lucky guess. I'm over here, darling. Hmm. Okay, Mrs. Lexington. Oh, please, Ooh. doctor. Call me Grams. Everybody does. Okay. Grams. Well, your eyes are shot. When you're 74 years old, you've been battling glaucoma for the last... Ten, and you're past the point of safe surgical correction. Anything else I can do for you while you're here? Are, are, are you sure? I'm sure. What, what, what would you recommend? Seeing eye dog? Doctor, oh, please. Come, Grams, I'll get your cap. Oh, if there's any movies that you want to see, don't wait. <laughs> Another one down. Okay, let's see here. Yep. All right, what you need is a three-week prescription of legal marijuana. There you go. Next! Take two of these three times a day. When you're done, call the emergency room. Next! Be the problem? I don't know. I just... It seems like everything's just not going right. Freight elevator. Um, that crushed my wrist. Don't you need me to take off my clothes? Next! Ming, Ming Yi? Is that chink or jet? There you go. Next! You are funny today. That's good. That's good. We'll see how funny you are whenever I break your arm again and reset it. Next! Got the old uh, black eye there, huh? How'd you get that? Me. Mm -hmm. E. <laughs> okay. Here's what it's gonna be. That'd be five dollars! Thanks, Doc. 18 milligrams of Viagra. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Next. Okay, what seems to be the problem? Sorry, hold on a second. No, no, I'm, I'm listening, go ahead. Nurse Jacobs, I can't write a prescription for ugly. Take this prescription and go down to the pharmacy. Huh? Yeah? 
I'm sorry, what did you say the problem was? Have him bring two bottles of wine. The two of you, take the entire bottle, drink all the wine, I guarantee you, you'll never see me again. Next! Medicine stressful. <laughs> sure. But see, now's the time that we get to unwind. There's a party tonight. You want to come? It's a kind of get together. It's ladies' night. Maybe next time. Hold you to that. Hmm? See you tomorrow. On time! On time! See anything you like. <laughs> now, sorry, I'm into midgets right now. Hey, aren't you the new doctor at the clinic? <laughs> For you, no, 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 no. Say, I'm, I'm having real bad pains in my chest. Oh, is that right? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get laid. Then I'll come back and meet me down at the hospital. I'll give you a bowel movement you will never forget, OK? Yeah! Pass up! Shh, shh, Watch out! Say, those radios you traded me were a hit. Do you have some? I already sold one of them. Do you have some more for me? Actually, I, I need something from you. What do you need? Do you still have that voodoo kit? I have the voodoo kit. The beginners or the advanced? The very advanced. The very advanced? Then, Professor, you're going to need the chicken, too. That's what you need. Oh, okay. Yeah! Okay, I'll take the chicken. You'll take it, okay? Yeah. Hey, back so soon. Absolutely. What did you bring me? You know the rules. Gotta have new faces. This doesn't work without new faces. I brought party favors this time. <laughs> okay. Rachel.
Ladies and gentlemen, let the real party begin. Where have you been? Do you realize what time it is? Have you been out all night? No, I always wear the same clothes for days at a time. <laughs> have you been slept? Does it matter? Ugh. What do we got? No. What do we got? I've got like a little bit of a pain right here in that part of my wrist. Okay, if you just take off your clothes and take a look at it. So I'm working my door at the club, right? And this big, huge guy just comes right up to me. He's like, oh, I'm with Jim. Oh, no. I was like, who the hell is Jim, man? So, so doctor, I have this rash. I'm sorry. If, you know, if you'll take all of your clothes, and, you know, why don't you just bend over the table? Take off your clothes and bend over the table. We'll take a quick look. But it's just right here. You know, it's probably a symptom of a deeper problem. Let me grab my probe, we'll take a quick look. Well, what can I do? I got the crop. I got it like two weeks ago and it's really itchy and there you see. Go. Is there a girl doctor who could? No, I am the only doctor in this town. I don't really want to do this. It's... Oh. 1875 Big Girls, wow. Are you fucking joking? That's are you fucking serious? For Hollywood girl, what kind big of a fucking bold. doctor are you? Are you Got kidding me? Okay, there's a prescription. Next! Is that your phone number? Mm-hmm. Mr. Rhodes, this is... Dr. Farwell, he is our attending physician for the next month. He is here for a follow-up on her daughter, Dusty. Dusty? We thought she was going to be a boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, doctor, for seeing us. We haven't been able to see a specialist yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. hang loose. Okay, and a few weeks ago, blood test, white blood count, yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah, there it is. What is it, doctor? You've been having headaches, Dusty, sort of come and go real quick? Yes. It's because you have a brain tumor. Tumor? Is it... is it cancer? Inoperable cancer. <laughs> okay. So there's a tumor. We understand. Doctor. Doctor! 
What is our next step? Um. Have you attended your senior prom? No, I'm a junior. I find one to take her to. This weekend. Can I get some coffee? What's wrong with you, you drunk god? Could I get some coffee? Por favor! You cannot just tell a 15-year-old girl that she's gonna die. No questions asked! Oh, come on! The kid's a goner! We don't want to just sit here and talk about it for the next whatever, do you, sweetie? Get some coffee. Regular, I mean, the, the, the short guy, dirty looking on the soul side. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. He didn't show up for work. Figures. All right, I need you to stay here tonight. There's a psychotic homeless guy stalking me. <laughs> sure. Hey, 
hot dog man. Hey, can I get two of those to go? Two. Two. Alice is going to look so beautiful on her wedding day. <laughs> yeah. So, how is Carol anyway? She's not well. She's not well at all, Father. She's still convinced we have a daughter named Alice. 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 Yeah. Yes. I'm so worried about her, Father. What can you do to help us? Have you been saying your Hail Marys? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then add a couple of our fathers. Oh. Our fathers. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right.